Canva Pro is it worth upgrading from the free version? So for us, the short answer to the question is yes, we've been using Canva Pro for a handful of months now and get a ton of value for it. So if you haven't checked out Canva Pro, here's just a really quick summary of everything that it has to offer compared to the free version of Canva. So it ends up costing you $120 if you pay for the entire year or on a monthly basis, you end up paying $12.99. So what I want to do today is just show you a couple of things that we end up using every single day that allow us to create better designs and also just get our work done much, much faster. So we create content across a whole bunch of platforms. So for example, here's what our Instagram account looks like. You can see there's tons of designs. We're not uploading a bunch of pictures, reels, videos, photos, things like that. A lot of it is done with basically designs from Canva. For Pinterest, we actually have around a million or 1.2 million impressions every month. So we put up 15 pins a day and all those are designed with Canva. And then of course our YouTube channel. So our thumbnails, the YouTube banner, some of the graphics that we include within the videos, all designed with Canva. If you're interested in checking out Canva Pro, I'll put a link down below in the description so you can get 45 free days. The normal free trial, if you just go to their website, is only 30 days, so you can get an extra two weeks if you check it out with our affiliate link. So this is our affiliate link where if you click on it and make a purchase, we could earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. So what the easiest thing to do is show you some of what it looks like within the free version so you can actually see some of the differences. So one of the very first things is your brand kit. So this is something where you're always gonna be using the same colors, fonts, your logo, things like that. With the free version, it essentially looks like this. You cannot upload your logo, so that'll just have to be one of your images that you may have to scroll down to actually find. Then when you have your brand colors, you can save three in the free version. You can't add another palette, and then you can't actually add any font. So we end up using Work Sans quite a bit, which is not available within the free version of Canva. So now here's what the brand kit looks like within Canva Pro. So I have our logo here. You can see I have more than three colors. And if I want to add more, I can easily do that. Like so also if I want to have other palettes, maybe for some of our clients or something like that, you can have those all saved here. You know, if I want to add other logos, I can do that right here. And then you can see, as I mentioned earlier, we end up using WorkSans. And so I just downloaded the Google font and uploaded it to Canva so I can use all the different versions of WorkSans. So now I want to create a design. Let's say I want to create an Instagram post. So I put in Instagram post and click here. And so just to show you the difference. So right now you can see there are 22,000 templates for free and pro. And then so if we scroll down and just select free, there's around 5,000. And then if we go to pro, there is 17,000. Not everyone is this skewed as far as having lots and lots uh, for Canva Pro. And when you're in the, the Pro version, you, it doesn't quite stand out as much. That's why I'm showing it here uh, using the free version of Canva. And so if we just tried something else, so if we go to say Instagram story and we can see the same thing. So there's 11,000 and 3,500 are free. And if we go to Pinterest, check that out. So the total of a thousand and there's about half of them for Pinterest pin, pins you can create with the free version of Canva. So as you can see, I think when you saw that first screen with the pricing, there's, you know, two or 300,000 templates for the free version and another 400 and some thousand that are being updated every single day with the pro version. So the next thing I want to show you is what about stock photos? That's another thing where you're going to get, you know, twice as many, maybe more, and so if we were to design a Pinterest pin starting from scratch, and then we go to click on photos, and then we just search for coffee, let's say. And then as you scroll through here, there's a pretty decent selection of free images, but you can see all the ones with the crown as we scroll down further. So, you know, you're essentially doubling the amount of images. Maybe this isn't a big deal for you. There are a ton of free places where you can get stock images. We did a whole video about that that I'll link to up above, but it's nice to just have a ton of options within Canva when you're creating your design so you can get stuff done uh, really, really quickly. With Canva Pro, you can just click on resize like so, and then say, hey, I wanna create an Instagram post. And it essentially pulls all the elements from that image. Obviously you may have to do a little bit of resizing, you know, see what exactly it is that I want to show given the different dimensions, but you know, maybe I want to add, if I hit T for text, uh, best 
you know, best microphone. And so this is much, much easier than having to open up a new design, find the image, find the text, find all the other different things you might happen to be adding to a design. So if you're creating stuff for an Instagram post and then an Instagram story and then for Pinterest, and then for Facebook, each one of those has slightly different dimensions. So if you can actually just click, change the dimensions, move stuff around, you can get all of those different designs done really, really quickly instead of start, starting from scratch for each one. The very next thing you can see from our thumbnails, they essentially look like this. And essentially what I do when I'm recording this video is I'll record a video making a bunch of, you know, weird faces pointing and stuff like that. And then I essentially take a screenshot from that video. And then that's what I'm going to use for the YouTube thumbnail. The thing is there's a gray background in all of my videos. Okay. So why don't I show you what it's like to create a thumbnail and I'll show you basically what I do to remove the background. So YouTube thumbnail, we usually just start from scratch here. We would then click here. Obviously we have our brand color saved and then I would go to uploads for images. So for say any one of these, yeah. So like this image right here. And then essentially one of the great things is background remover. And so, you know, sometimes it's not perfect. And so what you could either do is restore or a erase. So the mouse was half deleted um, so I could restore it or I could just erase all of it. So if I wanted to, you know, I could essentially go through and get rid of the keyboard as well and then save that. And then what I would essentially want to do, you know, I would obviously zoom in and do a better job of this. Um, but then obviously for the YouTube thumbnail, it would be something like that. And you know, probably make it a little bit bigger. And so just within a couple of seconds, you know, was able to remove the background from that. And obviously they would add the text and whatever else I wanted with this. We do have a video on how to remove the background from your images for free, but the issue is the quality of the image is really, really low for those free services. So if the image quality isn't that big of a deal, you can check out our other video, remove your background for free and you don't need Canva Pro, but it's nice to just be able to do all of this within the same program like I just did here. And then one of the very new features that we haven't really had a chance to play around with, but as I'm recording this video, why not point it out to you is they now have a content planner. So if you use say Hootsuite or um, Later or something like that to a, actually schedule out your content for Instagram or Facebook or, or something like that, you can now do all this within Canva Pro. So here's a really quick video of my colleague testing this out. So this is something we're going to be doing given that we do basically our designs here. Why not just schedule all of our posts in the exact same place? So those are a couple of reasons why we end up using Canva Pro. So the brand kit, stock photos, more templates, resizing and removing the background. And we're going to check out how the content planner works. If you want to check out some of our tutorial videos on how to use Canva, check out the playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye bye.